Hi everyone and welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey and in this video we're going to be checking out the new version of Game Maker Studio 2 and particularly version 2.3.2 and 5.5.6. So in this version they have 9 slice support and a new animation curve library. They have a whole bunch of bug fixes but we're going to check out these two things right here so let's roll the introduction and get right into it. So I have a brand new project in front of me running 2.3.2556 here you can see at the top and we want to check out the nine slice first. So let's create a new sprite. We're just going to edit this image and I'm going to create a very simple box. I'm going to use three pixels in the corner, three pixels down, and then three pixels across and then down and finish the box. So this is a super simple box and we're going to trim all the frames so we have a nice square here. Now the image editor is pretty much the same here, the sprite editor, we have texture settings, we have collision mask, but now we have a nine slice option. When we pull this down, we get two different windows here and the pane on the right side is basically our preview. So you can see if I stretch this out, this is what we would have and this was what would show up in our room editor. Now we have the option to activate nine slice and I'm gonna activate it and then we'll come back and deactivate it and show you what it does. Now we have these pink lines and these are the guides. We can either put in the guide number here or we can just use our mouse and drag them to where our guide needs to be. Now the nice thing that once I was dragging this around, this automatically updated. So now you can see that we have our nine slice already working. Now, what if we edit our image and we want it to have something in the middle here? So let's darken this. We'll put it like this. And actually on the sides, we'll darken this too. We'll have Three like that and three like that. All right, so now if we come back and we look at it, well, everything's kind of stretched out. So luckily what we can do is we can select what slice we want to play with. So let's select the center slice and we can also come down here, but we'll select the center slice and we want to say repeat. So now you can see that our texture is being repeated. Now with the top ones, it doesn't look that bad stretched, but you could also say repeat and you'll have these boxes here. So I'm gonna change all mine to repeat, just so we are working with the same kind of texture. You can see this is what happens. So now if I go in my room and I add an asset layer and I drag the sprite in, I'm gonna zoom in. And as soon as I drag this out, you can see that automatically nine slice is taken over. So that's really, really cool. Now the same principles apply to an object. If I put the sprite as this object one here and I go into my room, and I put in object one, as soon as I start scaling this, nine slice is automatically gonna take over. And remember, this is an object, it's not a sprite. Now, if we go back to our workspace and we go to sprite one and we uncheck this, what's gonna happen is all of our sprites and objects are just gonna look stretched. So you wanna make sure that if you have that, activate nine slice and that will fix it up for you. Now, the other thing we can do with nine slice is we can use them in sequences. So if we come down and create a new sequence, I'm gonna put my sprite into my sequence here, scroll in so I can grab it and then just expand it. And you can see it's already doing the nine slice for us. Now I'm gonna make a little animation because we're gonna move into animation curves. So I'm gonna create a new animation, animation curve. I'll name it animation curve two. And I'm just gonna put this as the X position. Now back in my sequence, I'm gonna drag and drop this into the position. And I'm going to say, yes, it's okay to add this channel. And you can see that now we have a curve here. Now I already have the auto key on. So I'm going to go to the very end and I'm going to start dragging my sprite. And basically this is saying, Hey, we have a shared curve. Do you want to embed it or keep it external? I'm going to keep it external. Now I can move this and I'll just move it up here. So our animation is from the left going to the top right. Now, if I open up my animation curve too, you can see that we have an X and a Y because we are moving our animation. But now, normally what we had were linear and smooth, but now we also have bezier. So we can come in and you can highlight and you can see on the right kind of what the curve's gonna do. So on the Y position, I can come in here and I can say, I want my Y position to bounce. You can see it's bouncing. And on the X position, well, I just want it to come in, um, say medium and then slow down. Now, if I go back to my sequence, you can see right here, this line represents the bounce on the Y, and you can see it's already been updated. So if I hit play, you can see that we just have that nice smooth 
animation curve already. We didn't really need to play with anything. So if I didn't like this exposition, I could just come in here and I'd be like, yeah, you know what? Let's ease it in. And then let's see what that looks like. Oh, I need to save this. Ease it in, come back over. Hmm, for some reason that did not save. Oh, it's because of the Y position, sorry. We'll change the Y position to ease in. And now when I come back over, you can see it's nice and smooth. But anyway, so those are the two features that came with the new Game Maker Studio. I'm super excited about both of them, and I hope you are too. I'd like to thank everyone for watching this video, and a special shout out to the following Patreon subscribers in no particular order. Lucas, Ian, Victor, Paul, Darth Wolf, Angel, Blunt BSC, Annie, Ashby, Robert, Bill, Andrea, Edward. Once again, thank you everyone so much for supporting me.